Hey everybody, let's talk about another question, shall we? I do love talking about these. I'm Gwen Bowie and I've been teaching CISSP for about 20 years now. So this question is a good question for CISSP or CISM or CCSP as well. All right, so remember, it's not so much about the questions. What I'm after is more about how do you get to the right answers? What's the logic I use to find answers when I'm going through tests? Because what's in my head does seem to work. I get through these tests pretty successfully. Don't know what my scores are, but I pass them. So let me see if I can help you with some of my logic. All right, so this question. First, thanks to Pocket Prep for letting me use some of the questions. Uh, this one is from the Cloud Collection. And what we have is the generally accepted privacy principles is a standard consisting of many privacy principles, one of which is regarding the utilization of information that's collected by an organization. What does the use principle say? So my first thought is this has actually been updated. GAP was replaced by PMF, the Privacy Management Framework. But there is still a use principle. Use would be, so test taking tip, think about the question, ponder the question. Use is the utilization of the data. So what would I be allowed to do? What can I do? Something along those lines. Now looking at the answers, the first one, the organization can utilize the information for anything except offering it for sale. Yeah, they should be able to offer it for sale unless we opt into that, but utilize it for anything? Hmm. They must notify the customer of its imminent deletion so the customer can opt back in. That's just weird. If you're coming off of a list or getting deleted from somebody's database or something, that's not normally something users want to get back into. Maybe sometimes on occasion, but kind of weird. So answer B, the organization can utilize the information for the original stated purpose. Okay, good. And for the following seven years, that's kind of oddly specific. That's what I have to say about it. It's oddly specific. Seven? Seven years, no matter what kind of data, no matter what kind of business? That's kind of weird. At the end of that time, it must be disposed of appropriately and permanently. So whatever the time frame is, that's a good thing, but it's that seven years in the middle that's really weird. Otherwise, I like answer B. If it didn't say seven years, I would like B. I don't like seven. C, the organization can utilize information for the purpose for which it was collected. Sure, that's good. And with an expected use beyond that. No, you can use it for the reason you collected it. So expected use beyond that is another addition to an end of a sentence that's not okay. They're allowed to store the information in archival status for up to 50 years. Again, oddly specific. There might be a place where seven years or 50 years is actually appropriate, but does that meet my business or does it meet your business or does it meet the average business on the planet, real estate or marketing or manufacturing or, that's just weird. Okay, D, the organization can utilize information for only the purpose for which it was collected. Good. And only for a limited amount of time. Okay, good. And at the end of that time, it must be disposed of appropriately and permanently. Okay, good. I like that. So A was good except opting back in. B was good except for seven years. C was good except for the 50 years. Like there's a weirdly specific thing in each of these. Weird, weirdly specific. So D is a little bit more generic and just a nice simple statement. So whatever the time frame is, we can figure it out for a business. We can put it into our policies. We can store data appropriately and we can dispose of it appropriately, whatever that actually means within the business and the technologies that we have. So best answer here is D. The organization can utilize the information for the purpose for which it was collected and only for a limited amount of time. That is your use principle. So not a bad thing to actually be familiar with the PMF, formerly known as GAP for CCSP, CISSP, even for CISM. All right, so that's that question. I will see you in the next video. If you like this, give me a like, give me a follow, and I will keep doing these. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.